Okay, hey everybody, welcome to another episode of On The Wrist From Off The Cuff. Today, as you can see, the return of the Seiko SKX to my channel. I know there are a lot of fans out there, and this is a mod that's been together and around for quite some time. So much that honestly, some of the modding community is, has caught up quite a bit in terms of that OEM Plus look. Um, I'm happy to be one of the first few channels that really was pushing that. Um, but yeah, this is my SKX Enhanced by Artifice Toro Works. And yeah, this is pretty much my idea of what a kind of fully modded, modern Pro Specs SKX might look like. Now, along with that, uh, leaves a lot of opportunity for those last finishing touch type mods. I considered this watch completely finished, um, and I had it on bracelet with a Marine Master clasp, and I was really loving it. But with some of the nicer, more expensive Seikos I've been buying recently and wearing, um, this one just doesn't get as much love. So I was really excited to see this Clockwork Republic strap that I'm going to be reviewing for you guys because I think it's breathed some new life into this particular mod. Um, a little bit about them. Clockwork Republic is a new brand providing straps and accessory options for popular watches. And uh, they pretty much started out with this particular release um, for the Seiko SKX. And this does also fit the Seiko 5 Sports 5KX. Uh, so those SRPD models, um, this will fit them as well. So that's really exciting. And the good news is it doesn't really break the bank because this comes in at under 60 bucks at $59.90 direct. Um, this is really that really, uh, I think anyway, it changes and, and kind of makes it look a little more upscale because it has that integrated rubber look where you're actually using end links. So, I mean, obviously we've seen that in more higher end applications, but something here, you know, under 60 bucks that you can add to a watch that essentially, I mean, at one point at least it was like a $150 watch. Of course, this one's been modded, um, you know, all the way through and through. So it's, it's, uh, has a little bit more money invested into it. Um, but uh, yeah, I figured it would be a fun one to show you guys and I'm excited to share it with you. So let's go ahead, zoom the camera out, get this in hand and take a closer look. All right guys, now really we're looking at the strap here, but for those of you who are new to the channel and might be wondering, whoa, what's up with this SKX? I do have multiple reviews and, and kind of follow-ups for this watch, um, but essentially to uh, simplify what we have here, custom crown of course with uh the monster style crown um and then you're also getting the really interesting i i thought at the time but actually it's funny now because the uh the baby turtle has knurling like this on the edges so actually i found that this probably landed closer to being uh the prototype for a baby turtle than it did for what the SKX ended up becoming. Um, but we do have ceramic insert as well as uh, sapphire crystal there, as you can see, double dome, very nice. Um, and then also custom case back as well, Artifice Horror Works. But now on to the meat and potatoes of the review, which is the strap from, as you can see, nicely signed there on the buckle, Clockwork Republic. So. Um, Clockwork Republic was actually nice enough to send this over. Um, there was no type of arrangement or anything just for me to check out. I didn't even have to do a review of it. I just wanted to because I liked it. Um, so let's get into some of the details on here, guys. So this is basically, they consider it their end link rubber strap. And it's, again, it has that cool integrated look. Um, if that fills the gap between the watch and the case, which is something that does ultimately look very good and very sharp and it just gives it kind of a high-end uh, feel, which I like. And in terms of the fitment on these end links, I gotta say, pretty nice. I mean, it's not perfect, perfect, but then again, you know, it's it's a Seiko. So perfect, per per not being perfect uh, down to the micron, um, probably makes it seem a little bit more custom and more natural and kind of within that OEM plus Seiko look. So I can't get too mad with that, with the, you know, world famous Seiko Wabi Sabi. Um, 
Now, this thing, this strap right here, the strap portion is very nice. It's actually molded from premium FKM rubber, which is hypoallergenic and highly resistant to solvents and chemicals as well as high temperatures. It's soft yet supple um, and durable enough to withstand, um, you know, harsher environments and, and rigorous activity, which is nice. Um, so I got to say this thing, in terms of just the, the rubber on the strap, is very supple and flexible just like you would think very very premium and then the fitment uh, between the rubber and the end link itself is also very nice and you can also see one of the real benefits of a setup like this um, is that you don't you know you get to retain a female end link which means that if you have a smaller wrist this thing is you can make it hang you know, as small as possible, that footprint. Um, and then if you have a larger wrist, it's still gonna lay amazing. I do love the drape on here. I like that there's a built-in little curve there. Um, it, it's just very, very smartly done. And then of course you have the great ridging done underneath. So you can actually get some sweat through there, a little breathability, which is nice. And you can see the end links are also quite nice, even from this angle. Um, and then everything's nicely signed. You have a milled buckle here, as you can see. Also, even the milled finger, uh, which is great. So really spared no expense from that standpoint. And then you get the double keepers. One is fixed here with these little tabs that are integrated in, and then the other is mobile. Um, so very nice from that standpoint of course what you would expect for something that goes on an skx of course it has a 22 millimeter lug width and it tapers down to about 20 millimeters at the buckle the length is going to be about 125 millimeters and 75 um, and then the thickness is going to pretty much have a little bit of a taper to it starting out at its thickest point closer to five millimeters and then tapering down to its thinnest point uh, closer to just two and a half so about halfway you know about cuts itself in half in terms of thickness um, as it drapes down uh, this beautiful strap and um, so again, the material vulcanized FKM rubber, which is great. The end links are 316 L stainless steel. And then of course you do have also that stainless steel tang buckle. Spring bars um, are included, but I will say that the end link does not fit the 2.5 millimeter spring bars, uh, the, the fatter Seiko spring bars. Um, so you do have to get uh, replacements essentially, but they do include two sets of spring bars. I think one's for the SKX and then the other set of spring bars is for the uh, Seiko 5 um, SRPD models so very cool from that standpoint but this will fit all the SKX you know SKX 009, 007 um, and then of course the various SRPD models that are within that 5KX family so yeah I'm, I'm digging this a lot um, and just to give you guys an idea I mean this thing is comfy it's just it just lays well um, and it, it's very sharp. I mean, in, in all of the best ways, like it's just high definition. The mold job is very nice. You don't see any seams or anything like that jumping out at you. Everything is very clean and well executed. Like I honestly look at this and I think, man, this thing could be a lot more expensive. Um, and it's just because of how well it's executed. So I really dig that. But let's go ahead, get this piece on wrist and uh, just see how the strap wears and uh, falls over the wrist. All right, as you guys can see on my seven and a quarter inch wrist, this thing wears beautifully. I mean, of course, it's the legendary SKX there, but the strap itself just lends a bit of a modern and, and luxury-like flair to it. I mean, I'd say probably the most famous, um, or I shouldn't say most, I guess maybe most well-known watch with this type of end link and strap setup would be something like the Tudor Pelagos. Um, not saying that this is a Tudor Pelagos competitor by any means, but it captures just that clean, toolish vibe, but definitely feels more modern, but feels absolutely like a tool watch. It doesn't feel like it's necessarily trying to be anything else but that. And it clearly isn't trying to look like a Rolex or a Tudor or anything like that. It's just 
a well integrated piece that just catches the light so well and helps that drape over um, and if for all those of you that are wondering checking your eyes if you haven't seen this review of this watch before because it was so long ago on the channel no your your eyes aren't fooling you those are drilled lugs but of course that was part of the aftermarket modifications that were done but yeah this thing just wears very very clean and very nice and don't get me wrong Seiko's modern straps are very very good the ones that you will find on the mini turtle or uh, you know your various SBDC um, and uh, SRP, I believe, um, model lines now. Um, they are very, very nice, but uh, I will say that their more silicon based um, style ends up making them a bit more, of course, of dust magnets. But here with the FKM rubber, really, really nice, not dusty at all, also conforms really well to the wrist so i'm really digging that um and yeah this thing it just gives it for this watch which i haven't worn in a really long time getting this strap uh it just made me want to put it on again it almost makes me want to go buy a little uh new seiko 5 sports uh 5kx as and that's just kind of fun because i had so much uh yeah i mean it was just such a labor of love to spec this watch out um, just because it, it's it's such an iconic uh, silhouette and from such an iconic brand it's always nice to kind of reimagine it um, to your spec but yeah guys this thing wears great and definitely great mobility um, and yeah it's it's comfy man this thing feels good I'll try to do a little slow roll for you so you guys can get a look. But, you know, um, although this isn't, you know, a review of the watch that you guys haven't seen in a while, we'll still do a loom shot, low light transition, um, so you can get a look at how these textures really play um, in terms of the fit and finish as well as some of the brushing on the end link. So let's go ahead and set that up. All right, we'll go ahead and hit the lights. As you can see, uh, Sega Luma Bright, so great. Um, I'd say the Loom Pip's a little lacking because it's not a Seiko Loom Pip. But um, that's not really what we're here for. We're actually here to take a look at how this particular strap renders in less than optimal lighting uh, because you're not always going to be out in the middle of a field enjoying direct sunlight. A lot of times you're going to be coming in and out of a building, maybe walking underneath an overhang, or just spending some time in your favorite automobile. So we get in here and give you some more realistic kind of lighting situations, less than optimal, even some harsh high contrast lighting, which typically will expose a good bit of any defects if they're there to be found. But you can see here, all the light just glides over very uniformly, so everything looks quite good. Um, and then you can see that the matte kind of finish on the strap does tie in really well with the matte finish on the dial, although the color play, I'd say, is a deeper, truer black on the strap versus an almost, uh, you know, warmer kind of chocolatey tones we're getting on the genuine Seiko dial there from the Mohawk model. If some of you are wondering where that dial came from, whoo, man, that's a looker. I dig it, guys. I absolutely do. So, closing thoughts. I feel like this really helps complete the mod. Um, not that it was incomplete before, because I had it on my Hexed Oyster with Marine Master clasp on it. Uh, felt very complete. But this definitely, you know, of course, in comparison to, you know, a big hefty bracelet. Um, you know, typically those big strap code bracelets, they're great, but they're also big and, and kind of heavy. Um, so when it comes to really using this you know, taking it back to its intended purpose of being a real tool watch, um, I think this helps kind of inject that back into it. Um, you know, of course, in the water, the watch is going to feel a lot lighter anyway. Um, but 
when you're on your way and you're coming in and out of the water and and you know you're you're kind of at in, in that uh in that little sweet spot of kind of uh, land and sea, I will say that it this thing is extra comfortable and it inspires me to get this uh, watch out in the water and out in some splashes. Um, it almost makes me want to go get a, an old classic SKX and, uh, and and take it and run it through its paces. Um, this one, of course, also one thing I forgot to mention, it does have the, you guys probably saw it on the case back, but yeah, it has an NH movement in there. So it does have hacking and hand winding for those who are like, whoa, what happened? To this did you change? Yes, everything's touched on this one, and, and I like it a lot. Um, so this thing, yeah, again, it just completes it. It gives it a more finished look and also gives it a, just a bit of a touch of a, uh, I get more modern vibe, which is nice. Um, and it's just really comfortable and finely crafted. It has a very nice premium feel without necessarily that premium cost, which I dig. And then the matte finish nicely matches, you know, again, the kind of matte areas on your typical SKX. Um, and, and even better so if you had one that was stock and you had that OEM aluminum bezel insert, you're going to get some more matted finish there as well. Um, so there's going to be a lot that's going to tie in even more so than you're seeing right here in this particular example of the video. So yeah, it's a fine mix of style and performance and I gotta say it's quite impressive and I love a good rubber strap. Um, and yeah, this one, at least in terms of the SKX application, this thing's awesome. So I would love to see them expand their line, maybe do um, some for some of the new Marine Master 200s. Um, I think that would look really great with an integrated um, end link uh, and rubber strap combo, as well as, of course, you know, I love the Mini Turtle. I think this would be killer on the Mini Turtle. Um, so yeah, hopefully that stuff comes. So uh, Clockwork Republic, if you're watching this, take notes. And uh, if you make that stuff, let me know. And we'll, we'll get a review of that too. All right. So guys, let me know what you think in the comments below. If you liked the video, please hit like. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe for more content just like this. Thanks, guys.